7.15 a.m. Welcome to a different kind of video. This is a day in the life with the Huawei P30 Pro, and it's no ordinary day. No, 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 no! Oh. So today I'm heading to London to meet up with Joe, who is the first member of the Mr. Who's the Boss team. So all those crazy animations and graphics you've seen in recent videos, that is stuff that we've been working together on. Let's get to it. Just before we head out, you probably know this phone has an optical in-display fingerprint scanner. It's actually something I found myself not using. I tend to just stick to the face unlocking. All right, we need to go. So we're out here waiting for the train to London and at my local station, it was a pretty cool chance to try out 4K video. And one of the things I found I could do was zoom in five times and read signs across the other side of the platform. I tried walking whilst taking footage from the phone at 4K resolution, and it's actually more stable if you use 1080p, so that's what I use for this shot here. The journey to London is round about two hours, so I spent half of this watching videos on the phone and scrolling through Twitter, and the other half getting strange looks from everyone else whilst trying to record myself doing it. Oh yeah, and I also tried recording 4K video whilst we were passing various points. London St. Pancras Station, pretty much at the heart of the city. And when I walked out, I bumped into a subscriber, so cool opportunity just to take a photo. Now, St. Pancras is gigantic, and has also got this iconic clock that you're seeing in the background there. And so combining those two makes it a perfect testing ground for the phone's zoom. So I took it out my pocket, tried one times, five times, and then 10 times zoom. And this is the shot I got at 10 times magnification. So then I met up with Joe, who is here to help with some of the camera work today. And we tried the front facing portrait mode selfie. Let me know what you think. The main objective of today was to get as high up as we could. So we were gonna head to the Shard, which is, well, the tallest building in the entire country. So to do that, we pulled up Google Maps and we just sort of navigated by walking along the streets. And the phone does have a dual GPS system. So we didn't have any problems navigating or seeing the display in broad daylight. One cool thing I did notice on the way when I was trying to take a photo of this really tall building was that the AI mode of the camera automatically knows you're cutting off the building and tells you to use the ultra wide instead. Turned out pretty cool. So we then arrived at the Shard, and it's bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is a 95 floor skyscraper, so the journey to the top involved a lot of stairs, a couple of lifts, corridors, and then more stairs. But it was worth it. Towards the top, there were a lot of cool opportunities to use the ultra-wide lens. So this one overlooking the bar below, as well as pretty much the entire city as a backdrop. But then we managed to get right to the top, and I had a very specific objective here. I wanted to pick a couple of landmarks and then start with the ultra wide and slowly zoom in more and more. So to start with, let's take a look at St. Paul's Cathedral, this tiny building here from the ultra wide lens. On one times it's a little clearer, five times quite a lot closer, but then 10 times completely blew me away. The second one is something they call the walkie talkie building. And you can probably tell as we're changing camera lenses, the color temperature of the photo changes too. But that doesn't change the fact that the zoom is so powerful that you can't tell I'm on a different building hundreds and hundreds of meters away. We also thought we're up here, we might as well take a portrait mode photo. And we're gonna save this, we're gonna come back to it and edit it on the way home. All right, back down to the ground floor and a couple more things I still wanted to do. So we've just managed to lose Joe, which, you know, doesn't help. But at the same time, it's a convenient opportunity to try calling on this phone because it works a little differently. There is no earpiece on this phone. Instead, you've actually got a speaker sitting behind the display in the top quadrant. And essentially, when you press that against your ear, you can hear the person clearly. It doesn't sound entirely different from the earpieces on other phones, but considering they've done that whilst removing a piece is an achievement more than it is a compromise. It was just generally a beautiful day, so I wanted to get a few more cinematic shots, a couple of time lapses, and I also wanted to just get a couple of shots using the background blur mode. This is still one of the only phones in the world that can do background blur in video. Anyways, time to head back. There's still a fair bit more I want to do today. So we're on the train just waiting for it to leave and we've got our coffee, we're listening to music and I'm typing away. I'm scripting the next video to drop after this one. I also use this as an opportunity to open up Lightroom to edit the photo we took earlier, brought back some of the color, added a bit of a vignette and this is the photo I just dropped on Instagram when this video went live. Back home, time for a bit of DIY. 
All right, so you might have seen this. This is one of the textures I use for overhead shots. And today we're gonna try and build another one. So I've got these two different textures here and a giant board. So let's see how it turns out. So to clarify, this is gonna be by no means a pretty or finished looking product, but at the same time, very much a piece of equipment that will be useful in video. So by equipping this board with two sides of texture, we can use it as a backdrop for content. And initially, I'll admit, it doesn't look great, but if you stick a product in front and zoom all the way in, I'd say the background looks pretty indistinguishable from real wood. The Huawei P30 Pro can also wirelessly project its entire user interface onto most TV screens, and there's a reason we're doing this. You get this desktop experience which you can control with the smartphone, and we're going to use it to open up a game called Fancy Skiing which is a weird one because it's actually on the Huawei website and is meant to be one of the showcases of the phone's capability. The idea being that you place your phone down so that the cameras are facing you and then these will track your movement. And with the addition of the new time of flight camera you've got on this phone, the movement tracking was incredibly accurate. There was a delay because I was using wireless projection and as a game, this is definitely more of a proof of concept than something I would actually play. But the idea is cool. It's nearing the end of the day, it's getting dark, and I just wanted to take a few photos using night mode on the camera. I've pretty much already done an entire video covering this feature, so if you do want to know more about that, feel free to check that out. I got this adorable shot of my cat just curled up there watching the news, and it was pretty much time to call it a day. We got to 11.14pm, and there was still 10% left on the battery. That's really impressive considering the day we've had, and that I've spent a good part of it filming on this phone, as well as all the other stuff we've been doing. If you enjoyed the video, it'd be massively appreciated if you could subscribe to the channel. The Huawei P30 Pro is going on sale in the UK on the 6th of April 2019, and I'm going to drop a link in the description below. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.